just taking a step back, um, you know, the IGF over its history has tackled some of the most thorniest issues uh, in a very effective manner. Internet governance, privacy, security, and it's wonderful to see the energy, the enthusiasm, the leadership of U.S. companies, NGOs, thought leaders, in now focusing on access. And what a difference this community, the IGF USA community, can make uh, in really trying to extend the benefits of broadband throughout the, throughout the world. Um, and uh, really grateful to um, Shane, David, the IGF USA Steering Committee for giving the issue the prominence it deserves. Uh, when uh, Kathy Novelli addressed the IGF USA community last year at GW, many of you were on the panel or remember that we, at that time, she laid out the broad themes of the Global Connection Initiative even before it was launched. And we did that because we really value the input and the, uh, the brain power in this room. Uh, and we really want to be working in close partnership with everyone as we move forward. Uh, we, we heard some really terrific interventions, and I will not do them all justice, but I did at least uh, try to write down a few, I think, high-level points. And we have two rapporteurs here uh, with the purpose of trying to provide some sort of a summary and input into the global IGF in Mexico. Um, it was clear to me from hearing from everyone that ensuring universal access is a challenge that can't be solved by any one company or organization alone. It requires cooperation and part partnership with the public and the private sectors. Uh, it's very clear that connectivity has a real impact on people's lives, economic, health, education, but that there are a number of barriers that we need to have a better appreciation of to expand connectivity that must be overcome. And we also must be making the case both to finance ministers with better data and also trying to tie uh, the importance of connectivity with the 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda and broader goals uh, that the international community has towards development. Um, it was clear from hearing that the, there are a lot of key barriers to universal access that include lack of infrastructure, affordability, lack of awareness of the value and the relevance of being online, and that there's really no one-size-fits-all solution to overcoming these barriers. A range of different approaches um, is needed. Um, for the Global Connect Initiative, you know, we're really looking forward to continuing our very strong partnership with everyone here and in the room. Um, as Karen knows well, we're looking forward to our next uh, Global Connect Stakeholders event, uh, October 4th and 5th, uh, during the Fall Bank Fund. Um, and, uh, and we're really here, going to be here for most of the day and really looking forward to kind of your advice on kind of the direction that we can go with this initiative to make it as impactful and relevant as possible to the global world.